Welcome back to the channel. Today's video discusses bullet seating depth and revisits that parameter for my 6.5 PRC cartridges. How far into the case you seat your bullet determines bullet jump, the distance it travels before touching the rifling. Bullet jump typically runs anywhere from 0 to 0 0.150 inch, but may be longer in some factory and magazine fed rifles. The closer the bullet is to the lands where rifling begins, the more centered it tends to be as it enters the bore, providing greater accuracy. Seating close to the lands also improves the consistency of pressures from shot to shot. So why not seat right to or even into the lands? Well, many precision shooters do just that. The downsides are increased chamber pressures and the risk of problems with feed and function, which is why most authors recommend a 20,000th jump for the average hunting rifle and bullet. Most competition rifles, however, shoot best anywhere from 20k off to 20k into the lands, with sleeker bullets providing better accuracy. Some competitors limit themselves to no more than 10k into the lands, to avoid the bullet distortion caused by high-pressure rounds. When doing load development, most authors recommend testing in 5k increments, since even 2 to 3k can alter group shape and size. Another way to reduce bullet jump is by reducing the amount of free bore, the distance between the case mouth and the lands. This requires the services of a good gunsmith to ream the chamber with a shorter throat, and can be a good solution for magazine-fed rifles where CBTO is limited. This needs to be a good gunsmith, though, who specializes in precision rifles and has a great track record. Word has it, free bore is a very annoying topic for these guys when customers don't trust their recommendations. Most shooters, though, stick with variations in seating depth to maximize accuracy. I purchased my Sako S20 Hunter in June of 2024, and at that time, with a new barrel, my jam CBTO, where the bullet was gently touching the lands, was 2.4955 inch for the Hornady 143 grain ELDX. Initial load workup included charge ladders for three different powders, Stable HD, H1000, and Rotumbo, in 0.3 grain increments with mag length seating, providing a 75k jump. Having chosen Stable HD at 59.6 grain, I then ran an abbreviated seating depth ladder and settled on 20k off the lands, with a CBTO of 2.4755 inch. With a seating depth chosen, an abbreviated charge ladder was run again to fine-tune the combination, settling on 59.8 grain, 0.3 grain below book max. This combination served well for many months, providing half-inch groups with five shots at 100 yards through October. At that time, she had 570 rounds through her. And then, well, it's hard not to shoot this thing. Fast forward through a lot of range time to July of 2025, and another piece of paper showed my group had opened up to over an inch. Now, with 710 rounds down the barrel, I figured I needed to recheck my jam CBTO, which had grown another 6.5K to 2.502 inch. Over time, the rifling near the chamber erodes, along with the emergence of cracks and pits as the barrel wears. The rate of erosion averages 4 to 7k per 100 rounds for popular mid-sized cartridges used in precision rifle competitions. As erosion progresses, shooters start to see a gradual drop-off in both accuracy and muzzle velocity. Competition shooters might replace their barrels every 700 to 1000 rounds, but the rest of us can't afford to do that. So in addition to starting with a high quality barrel, there are some easy ways to extend your barrel life. One, reduce your load. Not as much fun for speed demons, but definitely reduces wear. Two, use a powder with a slower burn rate, which also tends to benefit finding a wide charge ladder node. Three, slow down when shooting. Take the time to work on trigger control, reading the wind, and finding your zen. Four, Use a barrel cooler if you can't slow down. Old-time buffalo hunters used their urine, but today we have cleaner options. 5. Use chemical rather than abrasive cleaning compounds, and avoid using those with a high ammonia content. And 6. Always use a board guide when cleaning. As a side note, crown wear also reduces accuracy, so clean from breech to crown whenever possible, and avoid exiting the crown completely. Other less common measures include using coated bullets, 
with molybdenum, tungsten, or boron nitride, or treating the bore with products like melanite. To restore accuracy in barrels that have already begun to wear down, many authors suggest the following. One, recrown the barrel, an often overlooked option when shooters assume the entire barrel is shot out. Two, set back the barrel by having a gunsmith remove the first one inch or so and re-reaming the chamber. And three, chase the lands. Yes, I said it. <laughs> There's a lot of debate about how critical it is, or isn't, to adjust seating depth as the barrel wears. And in our house, that means it's time for a test. So I loaded up seven rounds each at my original seating depth, CBTO 2.4755, and a new seating depth to get me back to 20k at 2.482. I also loaded up an extra five rounds of each to see how they fared downrange on steel at 700 yards. Results were pretty conclusive in favor of chasing the lands. My group size returned close to half MOA and SD and ES were also much improved. At 26.5k off the lands, average velocity was 2864.3 feet per second, SD 26.6, and ES 81.2 with a group size of 0.88 inch. At 20k off, average velocity was 2857.6, SD 12.6, and ES 39.7 with a group size of 0.6 inch. I found similar benefits out to steel at 700 yards, a roughly 2 MOA half circle plate. Both loads required an elevation of 15 MOA up and windage of 2 MOA left, waiting for the calmest wind for each shot. At 26.5 K off the lands, three shots hit roughly center, while one hit about three inches from center at 7 o'clock, and one hit way in the bottom right corner. At 20 K off, two shots hit absolute dead center, two within one to two inches of center at 7 o'clock and one two inches from center at nine o'clock. So does chasing the lands work? Well, it did for my Sako. Now I gotta go revisit my other rifles. Until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh -oh. bud. I guess I'll go look for him. <laughs>